Hello friends, hope you guys had a great start to the new year 2013. It's been two years now since I've been, well, we're in the third year actually of wicked videos here on this YouTube channel. Glad to have you here with me as always in my kitchen and look what I have going on here. The walk is out, it means we're doing some kind of stir fry something. Today we're going to do a beef noodle stir fry. The Chinese influence on the food in the Caribbean is massive. So this one is another recipe in tribute to that contribution. And I'm sure you guys are absolutely going to find this amazing. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Let's make this beef noodle stir fry. There's quite a bit of ingredients. Please do not get intimidated. It is all going to go together nice and lovely. And we're going to start off with the, the vegetables that we're going to be using here. I have one cup of snow peas and one cup of bean sprouts. On my plate here, one carrot that I cut up very thin. A large onion, nice and chunky. One cup of mushrooms that I cut into quarters. One cup of broccoli, nice and fresh cut into uh, small pieces and two scallions, you may call it spring onions or as we do in North America, we call it green onions. So two of those sliced up very thin. A nice little sweet pepper medley here. I've got red, I've got orange and I've got yellow. So two cups of that, again, nice and chunky. The star of the show, beef. I've got here a thinly sliced quarter pound of beef. And we're going to season that up with some fresh ginger. We're going to grate that ginger into there. We're going to need about a tablespoon of this fresh ginger. You can't do this without some Caribbean sunshine. I've got some scotch bonnet pepper here. Quarter of a scotch bonnet pepper that I chopped up very finely. Here I've got half a teaspoon of salt as well as a quarter teaspoon. Well, you can't see it. There we go. Of Chinese five spice powder. A quarter cup of orange juice it's gonna give it a nice wicked flavor and back here the sauce is to make that nice little sauce well before we get to the sauce some fresh ground black pepper maybe about a quarter teaspoon of that we're gonna need about three tablespoons of vegetable oil divided we're gonna start off with two tablespoons and we're gonna add one later on sesame oil I'm gonna use is very powerful very potent very strong it's not my thing but I select a little bit of flavor so I'm gonna use about a quarter teaspoon of this sesame oil soy sauce I'm gonna use and wait a minute I'm giving these people a lot of free promo here you know two tablespoons of soy sauce a tablespoon of oyster sauce and a tablespoon of hoisin sauce all of this is going to go together to make that wicked noodle stir fry with the beef and speaking about noodle and the next one getting some free promo from me I love this brand the champion brand um, you can get it in your West Indian uh, grocery store or um, your Asian grocery stores Latin grocery stores they all have it it's an egg noodle and I'm going to use the entire package which is 340 grams 12 ounces but all I'm going to do is to cook this according to the, detail, the directions on the package and drain it and set aside. So let's get cracking on this wicked beef noodle stir fry. So the very first thing I want to do is to marinate this beef a little bit. So I've got that five spice powder as well as the salt and I'm just going to dump it in there. And then I've got my little grater. I'm going to grate in about a tablespoon of fresh ginger in there. Do use fresh ginger. You're going to love the flavor and the scent and everything else. When you grate ginger, it's going to smell nice. So that ginger is going in there. What I want to do is grab a spoon and mix that up thoroughly because you really want that ginger and that five spice powder to really mix and incorporate. Let that sit for about 20 minutes and then we're going to get started. I only just realized after I started marinating the beef that I forgot something, a clove of garlic. And I'm also going to grate that clove of garlic into the beef here as part of the marinade. My wok is on a high heat here. It's nice and warm on the inside. So in goes a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil. Remember we're gonna, we said we're going to use three tablespoons, but at this point we're using two. If you don't have a wok as I do, a huge non-stick frying pan will work just as good. 
And all I'm going to do now is to toss in that seasoned up beef. And all you're doing pretty much is quickly cooking this on that high heat. And that's one of the reasons why I also slice the beef very, very thin. Because I want this to cook very fast. You guys should smell this kitchen with that garlic and the five spice powder, the ginger. Mm, smelling wicked. You want to just make sure there's no pink that the meat is cooked. And remember, if you don't like beef, you can also use chicken, you can use shrimp. Uh, and if you want to do this vegetarian, all you would do is leave out the beef, but you would start with the ginger and the garlic and some vegetable oil and build on those flavors from there. Now this is exactly where I want it to be. So all I'm going to do is remove it and set it aside. Hit it with a, one more tablespoon of that vegetable oil. And right away, I'm going to add the diced up onions and let that soften up for about 30 seconds or so. Just wanted to release its flavors because this is all about building layers of flavors. Then I'm going to add those lovely peppers in there. And right away, you already start to see the lovely color, that vibrant CA. Then in goes the carrots, as well as the mushrooms, and the broccoli. that cook for about a minute or two just for it to soften up because with stir fry with this sort of stir fry you really want to have a little bit of crunch left in the vegetables I'm gonna to toss in those snow peas now hit it with that fresh ground black pepper if you got white pepper you can also use that And that little hint of scotch bonnet pepper, just to give it that nice little Caribbean swing. Just gonna add that little bit of sesame oil. I'm just going to give it a quick stir before I start adding. And I think we lost the mushroom, but it didn't go far. Back in the pot, buddy. Just going to coat everything with that sesame oil before we start building more flavor. So I'm just going to create a sort of a hole in the center here. <coughs> Excuse me. To start adding the sauces. And in goes the oyster sauce. The hoisin sauce and the soy sauce. And I'm going to follow up with the orange juice. And give it all a quick stir. Just allow all those flavors to marry and come together. Just gonna add back that beef to the pot to the pot here. It's time to finish this up now. You should have a nice sauce starting on the bottom there. Just start adding your cooked noodles to the pot. They tend to clump together after they cooked. But all you want to do is add it and keep stirring it in. It will fall back apart. 
want it to pick up all that sauce that's at the bottom of the pan there. Start coating these noodles. You will have to play around with it a little bit for it to separate. Be sure to mix it up good. <clears throat> the bean sprouts, we didn't forget those guys. We want that at the very end here, as well as the green onions. Give everything a final toss. And remember, stir fry is all about cooking fast on high heat. The lovely colors and textures. And the scent in here is absolutely wicked. And once that, uh, once your noodles are, has been mixed up good with that sauce, there, this is done. Just turn it off and get ready to enjoy. Guys, this was quick. It is so tasty. I just had a little a little something on the side. You know you gotta taste your stuff when you make it. Nice little zing from that scotch bonnet pepper, all those flavors from those sauces we used. It is amazing. This year is enough for five to six people as a complete meal. Remember, you got your pasta, your oil, your carbohydrates from your noodles, your meat, your vegetables, everything is in there. <coughs> The pepper got me in my throat there. Um, but it is such a lovely dish, a wicked way for us to start 2013. Look for some more exciting recipes as we move through the year. Guys, I've got tons of stuff planned for you all. Don't forget, if you love this recipe, check out my book, CaribbeanPod.com book. You're good to go. Always a pleasure to have you here in the kitchen. Give it a try.